of the Niger Grand Service Star River State, Power of Sports Africa. Accompanying him is the State Wissenator Lee Maiba, Chief Mike Zekome, S-A-N, For the glory of Almighty Allah, I, Right Honorable Ahmad Mumoru, have the privilege to commission this beautiful, constructed Hizibi Road to the good people of Liberia. Thank you. Dualization, dualization of Ezimbo Road, executed by the administration of His Excellency Nelson Ezio Wake, CON, GSSRS, Governor of River State, commissioned by my humble self, Governor of Adama State, Elijah Ahmad this day, 13th day of December 2021. To God be the glory. Amen. Somebody was asking me today, why are you commissioning road when today is supposed to be your birthday? And I answered, the day said that if it is your birthday, don't walk. Birthday is it for you to rest. If today is my birthday, thank God, let me also use it. Commit to the service of our people and the state. After all, there's nowhere that house is built where you do birthday. As we came here, we have celebrated the birthday. The ministers have sat for us. What else do you want us to uh, to celebrate? So it does not matter. But let me say something clearly, and that is the problem I've always said that when government say they want to stimulate economy. And you wonder how are they going to stimulate the economy? How are they going to make the economy to grow? They will create infrastructure. I just was this morning, I said, look, something came to me. I said, look, what a country is this? Look at a road like Lagos Ibadan Road, which is an important road in this country, cannot be completed by the federal government. Politics, ethnicity, in everything we are doing. So how do you stimulate the economy when a road like that cannot be completed up to now? Look at the road leading to the refinery, the seaport. Up to now, the federal government cannot complete it. How do you stimulate the economy? How? And then you hear trillions of naira being budgeted for. You see people talk about giving 200 billion naira to anchor borrowers, to anchor lenders, to anchor this, to anchor that. We have no problem about giving money for agriculture. We have no problem. The what we are saying, having given us this money, what is the impact? What is the impact? You are saying that, oh, we don't want more importation. We have no problem. We are support of it. But having stopped importation, what is the fate of the ordinary Nigerian? Is the food there? If the food is there, is it cheap? So the availability is not there. The cost is high. So what is the whole meaning of in encouraging our farmers to produce? So the whole money you have given, where, what is the impact it has created? What is the impact? Every time on television, we have spent so, so billions of naira in agriculture. We have spent so, so billions of naira in this. And I ask, what is the evidence? What is the evidence? For how many years, every time we do Lagos Road? For how many years, 
we do East West Road, nothing has been achieved. Story, 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 story. So, we should not be deceiving people. We should not. We should tell people we're able to do this. And we did it. I'm not worried that, like I've always said, the day you say they've not done well, the way they send financial commission to begin to look at what you have been uh, doing. If you don't say, nobody will come after you. If you say, they will come uh, after you. So, but again, somebody must have to say it. Somebody has to sort of let people understand that the, this administration is doing nothing to improve the lives of the citizens. It's just story, story, story. And that was why I told our National Party chairman yesterday in Benway. I said, look, it is not easy this period that Nigeria requires change of leadership. And God has given you the opportunity to be the one that will lead for this change. And it is not going to be easy. It will be very, very difficult. But being firm, being committed, you will achieve it. And we're all here to support him to achieve it. By the grace of God, PDP will take over 2023. But again, it is not by clapping hand, it is by you being committed to it. It is by you being committed to it. I pray that INEC will continue with the system they have introduced. I pray INEC will continue with this system where now everybody will go and campaign and people's vote will uh, count. Because when people's vote count, political office holders will not be accountable to the people. When their votes don't count, political office holders will not be accountable to the people. And how will it count? It's by INEC making sure that there is a free and fair election. In fact, I believe that if INEC conducts a free and fair election, nobody will participate in any party in this state. Nobody will agree. Because you will ask yourself, what am I going to collect from in that party? What will I tell them now? What is the campaign? You will tell the people of River State, look, PDP has not done this. PDP has not. What campaign will you say? Because we have even taken the roads to their own particular houses. Not villages, to their own particular houses. But why they will have the courage to campaign, they still believe that somehow there will be a room to manipulate. But with the way we have seen INEC now, I think INEC is very, very serious. And I want to commend them to still be firm and courageous. It is not easy, but let them continue to be courageous and give Nigeria the best. This morning, my leaders came to me to wish me happy birthday. And I also tell them, thank you. I also had a, a, a birthday gift for them. I told them, you know I'm leaving. Now we have to start consultation for who takes over. And I told them, let nobody go and spend this money on. Because after the consultation, we'll all sit down and say, this is a person we think that should continue where we have uh, stopped. So, so the issue of now, who's going to take over for me, the process has uh, started. And it has started today, being my birthday. Uh, so when they gave me birthday, I also gave them their own, uh, uh, gave them my own cake. My own cake is to let them know that the process has uh, started. So now you can start your full prayers. Now you can start your full prayers and your libation for those of you who say you don't believe in, uh, in God. But what is important to us, like I've always said, we are not going to impose anybody. Anybody. Because I've told you before, do not say, this man is my right hand man, this man will protect me. He will only protect you for six months. After six months, everything is what? Gone. Because even you politicians will break that relationship. So what we should do is we will continue to make sure good companies 
continue with a good job. All the people struggling for whom they will replace them or will not replace them, they are just wasting their time. Just wasting your time and your energy. And even giving yourself high blood uh, pressure. You don't need to. God should be able to provide who will be able to continue from where we have stopped. And anybody who is a political office holder in my office that wants to run now, this is an opportunity for you to quit so I don't distract my office. So I've given you a notice now. If you can be in my office and then you are using my office to do your own political uh, uh, campaign. I want when I send you an error, you go for the order not to stop on the road and enter a political uh, meeting and tell me that, look, that person you sent me is not around. Meanwhile, the man has been around, but he went for a political uh, meeting. So it's key for us. It's key. So, Mr. Chair, uh, Mr. Uh, Special Guest of Honor, I'm so happy you came. This is your place. Continue to deal with us. I was not done about the other time to inspect the flyover and the, the bypass. So some of you should take time and on your own go and see. It's a state that not with enough resources. But if you go to that state and see the kind of flyover, you will be amazed. You will be amazed. So I'm not surprised. You come here, you commission this flyover, and then you have also gone back to build a flyover and we have also commissioned it. Very beautiful flyover. And in fact, one of the things I learned from that area is that as we are passing on the road, he made sure that there is no way anybody can cross the road that he barricaded it. So beautiful. And I tried to learn that from him, that most of these roads we are not doing, we have to barricade it with fence this way, not fence that you will not see through, but you make only a place where people can, uh, uh, can cross. And two, to stop this littering of uh, refuse on the, on the media. You know? So that's what I've learned from the governor of uh, Adamawa State. So we learn from each uh, uh, other. And also congratulating him for having conducted one of the best convention of our great party to, to the satisfaction of the entire world that now the all progressive congress is not jittering and whether they will survive it or not it's our prayer that they should not survive it's not our prayer that they should survive because bad association should not survive bad group should not uh, survive so those of them like I've said, it is time, and the, girl, and the chairman have said to them, it's time for them to quit uh, the Aswan Rock, because the owners will soon come and take over. On that